Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Fart Manager 2018. We have got over 3 million monies now. The strawberries are not able to have anything done, although it's, it, it just says resting at the moment. Doesn't she say? Well, it's because it's late autumn now and it's, it's too cold for them to do anything else. Raspberries are the same, they are resting. We've got strawberries up here. Now, I was thinking about removing those completely, and I want to build a load of greenhouses down here and maybe build another, um, yeah, see that, that they've changed a little bit now. Um, I've had some issues here, that they're just getting this game started, so it may be a little bit laggy here to begin with. Um, weather alert, too low temperature. Um... It all seems to be being a little bit strange and a bit laggy. So if it is a little bit strange and a little bit laggy, I do I do apologise for that. This um, I'm hoping that it, it will sort of... It'll even itself out a little bit and everything will all be tickety-boo. We've still got the cucumbers over here being harvested. Um, not really sure what's going on there. But the cucumbers are the only ones that we now need to worry about. We don't have to concern ourselves with any of the others. We've got some frozen strawberries and raspberries here. I was going to be selling those... I was actually thinking that it was... Yeah, we, we were looking at selling them. I thought I sold them at the end of the last episode. But maybe I didn't. Maybe I did not go and sell those at the end of the last episode. So we've got cucumbers there. And we've got uh, various different um, flowers are now being made. Uh, there. We, oh, yeah, because we, um, we did sell some of these. We've got another 76,000 worth to sell. It goes all the way up to 30 there for the strawberries. Raspberries right here. They were 28. They've gone down a little bit. Okay, we've had some strawberries there. Uh, we'll sell those 975 kilos of strawberries. Sheep's wool, 15 at the moment. That's 2,300. I don't have a huge amount of sheep's wool. I got some, but not a massive amount. We'll leave the rest of it to go. And over here, we've got cucumbers are still pouring off this field. We've got 85 tons there. I've got none in there, by the look of it. No, none in there. Um, and then over in this one, this one is full. It's, it's actually a little bit over full, but this is not a lot that we're going to do about that. We're not going to worry about it. So in theory, we should just be able to tickle on through the winter and then we'll be able to start getting things ready for the spring where we got to do a load of mad panicking for plowing and stuff like that. One of the first things that I wanted to do, and I did talk about this previously, I'm going to leave that running fast because I'm hoping that they will eventually finish picking all those cucumbers. Um, one of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to build some more greenhouses. I'm not quite sure how many more I should build. And... Why is that red? Oh, now it's gone green. Right, there we go. So if I build a line... Let, let me just rotate this around a little bit. And we'll see where we can put these greenhouses. Because um, I don't want to do too many. But I want to make sure that I got enough. I think that actually there will work out quite nicely. So we'll put one in there. And look, you can see what I mean by I am getting some issues with lag here. Have I got a... Oh, no, I can press shift. I, I remember now I can press shift. If I press and hold shift and put it and click it down, it will um, plonk them down next to each other like that. Okay, so we can do that. i tell you what. Let me just, uh, let me just put one more down a minute. Like that. And then we'll go down to play speed. Hopefully it's not going to be quite so laggy if I do it like this. And I will go back to here. So we've got five greenhouses in a line up to that point. That will make six if I go one more like that. Right. So then I want to have a road going behind them. This is going to be our next thing. We want to, we want to put a road there. And I want a paved road like that. And this one is going to go there like that and i'm hoping it'll go up this side yes that's perfect we'll go up that side as well so what we'll do then is we're going to put another six greenhouses along here just in front and then another six up here and then another six that's going to make 24 greenhouses and i think we'll actually leave the five over here we will leave those going if i go to here like this and then auto fill that and accept I've got strawberries being planted, uh, being harvested over there. Cucumbers are still going. It does actually seem like it's filling them up a little bit faster now, which is which is a good thing. Uh, we don't have any over here. Do I? Are they moving further? Yeah, I got 13 tons of them over there. Uh, no more anywhere else at the moment. 
but they're still they're still going. We've got 34 days on training. Everything else seems to be sort of tickling along quite nicely. We don't have any other issues. Frozen strawberries there. I've got 125 kilos of strawberries in there. You in here, what have you got? You got no fruit at all. So basically we've got a load of unemployed people at the moment. Um It's not ideal. It's all right. We'll 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 come back to them. We'll um we, we'll yeah, come through with the um the P45s very soon if we have to. We won't be we won't stand for people just, you know, standing around not doing anything. So we got one there. Oh, no. I didn't actually mean to do that. I want to get rid of that one. Click on that, get rid of you. I need to actually build that in just a little bit tighter. Here. There, that's better. One there. I need to have them right up against each other like that. So if I can do that all the way through, then I'll be able to have um, the roads evenly spaced. And put that one there. And then I can go and build another road. And that one is going to go out like that. Why are, you going, why are you hooking around that way? I don't want you to hook around that way. I want you to go there and then up to there like that. Right. And then we will get another line of green. We've got a lot of greenhouses here. We're going to be requiring a lot of work. I'm going to let the greenhouses all build before we worry about doing anything else. So we'll put that one into there like that. So we go for our next lot of six. So we've got 24 here. Plus we got five over in the other spot, which is going to give us 29 greenhouses altogether. I mean, yes, ideally we'd want yeah, a more even number, say 30 greenhouses, but uh, we, we don't currently have that, so never mind. We'll, we'll work with what we've got. So there's 18, and I want one last lot. Can we do this? Is this going to be a thing that we can do or not? I'm hoping that it is. I'm really hoping that this works. Put that one in there. And there. So, yeah, if we got 29 greenhouses, I mean, yeah, ideally we'd want some, uh, you know. Actually, yeah, if we got rid of the uh, five greenhouses over here, and we weren't, we didn't have this at all over here, I'm going to go into there and I can autofill that, get some people working. If I got rid of those completely, I could put a load more beehives over here. I could get rid of that fruit factory and. You would just like move the people who are working there over this way. I could build a new fruit factory. We could have another big fruit factory. Instead of a little one and a big one, we could have just two massive great big ones. Um, and we have 30 greenhouses over here. Yep, I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Okay, if that's, if that's the plan, how are we doing over here for harvest? Nine days, five, 16. That one's harvesting. That's got 25. Well, that one there, I'm going to get rid of that greenhouse. That one can go straight away. Yes. And then this one. So that's 16 days. Yeah, we get rid of that one. And then what have we got in these? There's five and there's nine. We'll let those two stay. And this one here is going to be harvested. And we will build 30 greenhouses over here. We'll build another fruit factory over here. Which is going to go this side. Right next to them. So we can sort of the greenhouses in between the two fruit factories. This, I, I like this idea. I like this plan. We'll see how this works out. I'm probably going to get another like major lag fest going on. I think the lag fest has kind of settled down a little bit. I don't really know. We're, we're running it on just normal speed at the moment, so that that might actually have something to do with it. Um, there is always the off chance that my computer could just be trying to run some updates. It's really, really frustrating when it does that. It's the one downside of Windows 10 is that very occasionally it decides, oh, you know what, I'm going to do, and I don't care if you're trying to do any work. I don't care what you're trying to do. I want to run some updates, and I'm going to do it in the background. I'm going to slow your system down so much that you can't actually do anything at all. And you give up, and you go out, and you try to uh, get acquainted with that thing called sunlight. No, I don't want to. I have no intention of going out and getting acquainted with sunlight. Whatever, it, have you ever heard of such a thing? I'm not going to do that. Anyway, we've got a huge number of greenhouses over here now. Uh, that one's still harvesting. Yep. And so I'm going to need a new employee's house over this side. Uh, not through there. I'm not. Let me get rid of that a second. Yeah, a new, a new employee's house, which is this one there. We can go for 
21,600 for one of those. Now, if I put that one there, they're not going to have to work very far to get to a factory that's right there. So we will put that one right in there like that. And that is in the right spot. Yep, that's going to be fine. So then we can come over here and we can go for the big beastie. Now, what have I, what have I got trained? Industrial management training for pigs. Um... Wasn't there? Is there a training right here? Workshop for beekeepers. I think I already got the cheaper buildings. Um, what do we got? Agriculture, fruit growers, poultry breeders, rabbit breeders, production management, workshop, warehouse man. Yeah, I think we've already got the, the buildings being as cheap as possible now. Slow as aware of machines. Yes. Right, well, as that's already done. That's all coming in automatically. Um, we had the... Was that... I think that was the strawberry message. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Yes, that was the strawberry message. So we'll get rid of that one. Bye-bye. And then we've got up here. We've got four and we've got eight. So we'll let those carry on. I'm going to worry about them for a minute. What is this? Small milk processing plant. Build a small milk processing plant and you will get funding for 6,200. How much is the small milk? We've already got one. How much is to how much is it to build the second one? Twenty nine. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We've already got one, and I need to come over here. Well, actually, I want this. Uh, frozen food, frozen foot factory. We need another frozen foot factory. I can rotate this round a bit, like this. Yeah, look at it lagging out. It's terrible. It's really bad today. I don't know why. It does irritate me a bit. Put that one in there. There is our next frozen foot factory. That one's going to go to work. And we'll be able to keep seasonal staff here so they'll be able to keep running these greenhouses. And they should hopefully be able to run them just fine. So if I've got 30 of them, I will do half of them as... Ooh! <gasps> I just had a thought. I may want to do a juice factory as well. I could do tomatoes. And then we could do some juicing. Um, hmm. Warehouse. No, here. Right. A juice factory takes apples, cherries, and tomatoes. This one takes cherries as well. So we can freeze cherries and we can juice cherries. But we also, we, we can do tomatoes. So I could just go for a large, you see the juice factory I wanted to put somewhere else. I'm not really sure now. I'm not really sure which one I want, which one would be most beneficial. Um... Do I go for this? Do I build a juice factory just to do some tomatoes in these greenhouses? Or do I do tomatoes another time? I, 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 you know, I could. I, I could easily do this. I could build a small juice factory. We could take that one there and I could just like plonk it in here. Except that it won't fit because of those. So I'd have to put it in there. I could put that one in there and we could make some juice. We could do tomato juice. I could make two of them. Except that, you know, the... I think it's probably better if I just go... If I'm going to build a juice factory, I may as well build a big juice factory. And we could always put the orchards over this side. So that they are close enough. Um, ooh. Okay, we'll do it. You've, you've talked me into it. We will build a juice factory over here. We'll build a, a huge juice factory over here. And that one goes there like that. I want the road to run down the side of it. Like that. Actually, you know what? We could always just put it there so that it goes right up against the front of the road. And a road uh, you know, a road next to it probably wouldn't hurt, actually. It's, it's not going to hurt at all. It's going to have to go out there like that. Because it won't go in. So we can do it to that point there. And then I can't run one along the back, so I've got to do it all the way out to there. But the front of it is in the right place anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then I can go and I can take this one here and I can go to production and we can go to a large juice factory like this. And I can rotate that one round, put it right up against the road there. And I can put that one in there. So, we want three crops from here, which means that we're going to want uh, one third raspberries, one third strawberries and one third uh, tomatoes. Do I actually want a third? No, because I got two of these. I would say six of them are going to be... Let's let's start plowing. Let's let's get these plowing, shall we? Uh, six of them are going to be tomatoes, those top six. And then the rest of them, we're going to have 18... Uh, 12, sorry. 
Six. Yeah, six tomatoes, 12 strawberries, 12 raspberries. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I, I, I was going to get to it eventually. F try and find my way around it. So we've got to go through all of these now. Autofill, except like that. I don't think there is a way to auto... We need to put an irrigation system into each of these. This is very important. They've, they've each got to have an irrigation system. So let's move in a little bit. It might make this a little bit easier. So we go there, plowing, autofill, and accept. There. And then we go to the next. Oh, that one's done. We go to this one. Make the irrigation system. Ten grand a time for the irrigation systems. Accept. We go to the next one. And we do that. Right. Well, we are, we, we've done ten of them. I'm wondering if there's a way to like have it automatically get people um, doing jobs in here as well. Probably not. That's all right. We can keep going through. Let me let me just get all of these up and running a minute, and I'll go back through and I'll do the irrigation systems in a minute. I've run out of staff for a minute, so we've got a whole load of them going with actually working in the greenhouses. Let me just move this over a little bit like this. Right, that one didn't have an irrigation system. These have that one, yeah. So I've done the I've done the top end. I can go through now and do all the irrigation systems at ten grand a time. That's three hundred thousand monies worth of irrigation systems that we're currently installing in here. I've used up all the available seasonal staff. Um, we will probably have to hire a few more. So we'll be able, we'll be keeping permanent seasonal staff right here on this map because. Um, yeah, all these greenhouses are going to require quite a few people here. We're going to need... I mean, if you've got all of them being worked all at once, there's 90 people. I don't think we're going to need to worry about having all of them being worked at once. But, like here, I'm now suddenly needing to bring in a load of people. So, I'll accept that there and I'll let them be picked. Um, I've only got two greenhouses left. That one's being harvested. That one there has got four days left. Then we can make some more small fields here and we can also put in some more beekeepers. That's the plan on that field. This one over here, how are we doing? We've got 126 tons there. I'm going to go and I'm going to sell all of the remaining. So we were down to uh, 1.8 million. <laughs> 1.8 million. We're doing all right, I think. I think we're, we're sort of soldiering on. There's another 600,000 coming in from cucumbers. Excellent. That puts us back up to 2.4 million. And I'm going to need five staff in here at least five staff so we want more people who have the production and the strength thing all together do we have any oh there's one we'll hire that person you are going to go down here into so yeah eight and nine so i will we'll put them into house eight for a minute and do we have any more with production and strength no not at that point we go into here higher another one with production and strength if i can get production and strength for every single one of them that would be great None in there. How are we doing with the greenhouses? You are halfway through. It'll help if I sped it up a little bit, I think. Hopefully it won't sort of lag it down too much. What are we doing here? Uh, uh, lots, there's lots of them with just production, but there's no production and strength. And it's production and strength together that I could really do with. How are we doing over here? That one is almost done. That's it's still got three days left. Let's try the higher list again. Anybody? Anybody at all? I don't mind. I genuinely, I don't mind who you are. I don't, I don't mind. I don't even mind if you've got a criminal record. It makes no difference to me whatsoever, just so long as you can work hard. Okay? That's all I ask for. Just that you work hard. Let's get rid of that one. Yep. Bye-bye, greenhouse. We've got two days left on that one, and then we'll get the final harvest out of there as well. Ooh. Okay. Now people are finishing. I can auto fill. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look. See. Oh no, that one's. That one's. They're, they're not done. They're not done. They're not done. They're not done. You're not. You, you're not finished. This is not. This. This isn't what I was hoping for. The. What's happened with the cucumbers? They're still harvesting the cucumbers, aren't they? Oh uh, no. I think they just sort of finished. So it's, it's kind of the end of the cucumber harvest now. The, the cucumber harvest, it, it went for a while. We, we had a good run on the cucumbers, um, but it has fine, it's finally come to a finish. Right, let's go back over here. We've got uh, plowing, autofill, 
So we've got more people available now who can come through and they can do some more of this. Which is excellent. It means that we can get more of these greenhouses done. Because we've got to go through and we've got to cultivate them all. And we've got to uh, put fertilizer in them all. But apparently you've only got to put one lot of fertilizer in all of them. And that's all you need to worry about. There we go. And we go to that one there. And autofill. Accept. And then you as well. And autofill. Yep, we've got, we got loads of people here working. Absolutely hundreds of them. Um, I'm going to just take a look at that juice factory in a second. No, not the juice factory. Yeah, we've got the juice factory now. The juice factory doesn't actually have anything to do in it. We might be moving some of the people that are working up there down towards this side. Because, um, yeah, we, we could do with them. And there. Right, so we, we're sort of, we've gotten part way through this. But you realise, of course, that we've got to go through and we've got to cultivate all these greenhouses. And we've got to fertilise them. And then we've got to plant them all. It's going to take us a little while. We're going to be here for a minute or two. There. Right. Okay. So we've done all of that. This one up here is now ready to cultivate. So we go back through and we, we start going working through them again. That's... um, Hang on. No. Um, Cultivate. Yeah. Autofill. And then go to the next one. And we'll cultivate that one. Snowing. We've actually got snow. Right. There. We've got plenty of people here. Plenty of people here working. It's taking a little... It's Actually, I think we, we, we do seem to be getting through these quite nicely now. We've sort of developed a bit of a um, a rhythm with it as we go through. There we go. And another one. i got a greenhouse that is ready. There's a greenhouse that is ready there. Let's go to that one. And we can autofill accept. So you will harvest the final harvest in that greenhouse there. Now, this one over here. This one right here. It's got 100 kilos of strawberries in it. We've got these employees. I've got one there, Bonnie Bates. She is staying. The other two are going. The others are going to go. We're not going to do anything with them anymore. I want to find out how to empty that greenhouse. I'm going to need to be able to... Uh, greenhouse, that factory. I'm going to need to be able to do that. Uh, right, you can be cultivated. And we've run out of employees. Put in two tractors. We may as well use the tractor drivers for this as well. They're not doing anything else through the winter. Uh, cultivating, autofill, yeah. So this is all the extra people now. They're all coming out of the woodwork to do to do their fair share. That has had it. The cucumbers are all dead. These are resting. That's fine. And then we've got winter over here. We've got the apples resting as well. So those apples, I'm hoping they will be able to later on become part of the juicing facility. Current production. We've got apples, cherries, and tomatoes. Right. Um, how are you doing over here? That one, that one's done. It didn't actually give me a message to say that it was done. Oh well. Bye bye. Yep. Right, that is the end of there. We're going to need to buy some beekeepers. We'll do that in a minute. So this one in here, we've got a warehouse. We've got employees. I've got six kilos of strawberries left in there. Uh, these strawberries here. Sure what to do. A warehouse. They're all gone. Right, that's good. I can clear all of these three out like that. There's nothing in that warehouse. So there should be frozen strawberries have just gone across the road there. We've got a ton of them in there. There's nobody in here. There's nothing in the warehouse. Perfect. Ideal. Bye-bye, small juice factory. That's the end of the small juice factory. I'm going to remove that bit of road there as well. Perfect. And then this one over here. So Ivy Alley, she's going... To, we're releasing her. Uh, she's, she's just slightly useless. Uh, we'll release that one as well. And then Bonnie Bates, you are going to be relocated. You're, you're getting a new home. Your new home is going to be over in that one there. Okay. And now we will go... Yeah, I've got seven people in there. Which means I've got at the moment... By autofill, I've got two people there. Clear that one out. Clear that one out. And clear that one out. And then choose. Have I got any more people here? I don't have anybody available that is suitable for in here. Oh, I'm lagging now. I'm, I'm getting more lag again. Right. Bonnie Bates. Endurance 5 of... Yeah, she's 5 of 5 on all of those. Uh, Amelia Cower is going to be trained up a little bit. There we go. Wait a minute. Why didn't that work? Should have done. Uh... Ah, right. Needed to refresh your list. Okay, so I've got two people working in that one. I don't have anybody in the juice factory yet. 
So next up, we want to go... I think we still want to be sort of getting more people cultivating in here. Yep, I've got some extra people available. We go through and get... Let's get just another line of these going, and then we'll see if we can get some more employees. I'd like to maybe buy a combine or two and get those sort of going through the winter. We can do some more restoration jobs and maybe earn a little bit of cash from them. They do seem... Combines do seem to be quite a, a profitable enterprise in that respect. So let's go up here. We get we, we used these two combines and they, they were just enough. I don't actually have any spare space for more machinery. So what I'll do is if I take a road here. Now let's zoom in a little bit. And actually before I do that, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to parking like that. And then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put this parking there like that. So we've got one there. And then I'm going to build another one. Yep. Right beside it, like that. There. And then we want another one to go there, I think. I'm not entirely sure where that one's got to go. We, we need to put a road in first. I want that paved road there. And I'm going to put... Oh, that's perfect. That runs right up the front of it like that. I don't have enough room down this side to put the paved road. But we do have... Yeah, there's, there's no room around the edges of it. So it's just one sort of up there and back. That's fine. We don't mind that. And then we go back to building again. And we go to the garage. And we go to parking right here. So what I was hoping is to put one here. Like that. And one more. Should have held shift. Over here. There. Perfect. Right, I think that's a really good use of all the space that we've got there. So now we can go to the machinery market and we can take a look and see if there is anything available. I'm four fra I'm getting spikes of four frames a second at the moment. It does seem to be doing quite bad today compared to what it was doing uh, yesterday. So I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, we've got bad condition, good and new. Um, really, we only want scrap. We only want things that are in scrap condition. So I just got the used machines. Because scrap, you can repair them back up to... Um, there, see, I got that seed drill at scrap. Um, you can repair them back up. But quite frankly, we don't have anything there that is worth us bothering with. So we won't worry about that today. What do I want to do? I want to go into here. And I want to go to higher. And I want to... See if I can find any more that have got production and strength. It's, it's very, very random. It's a bit of a roulette on here. Nope, we've got nobody there this time. I'm going to need beekeepers. I am going to need more beekeepers. I'm curious. Of what are my beekeepers that I've got at the moment? Do I have, like, any bonuses with these beekeepers? Have a look at this beekeeper here. I've got a keg. She's just on bee... We'll, okay, so if we want just beekeeping, we'll do, we will do just beekeeping for those. Higher... Uh, production and beekeeping. Tractor driving and beekeeping. No, I don't want those secondaries. Uh, beekeeping. Um, orchard care. We might... Well... See, I don't think we're going to really worry about those. Because um, the orchards are mostly going to be worked by the seasonal staff. Unless we have... I suppose unless we have tractors. And then we want, like, tractor and orchard working together, wouldn't we? You know, I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see. Right, I, I still don't have... Any employees that are... Right, there's a beekeeper. So we can put a beekeeper in here. And you're going to need to be closer than those four. You've got one house over here. Um, two, three, four. Oh, that one there. That one might actually be the right one. Yeah, because eight is down there. Okay, we'll put that one in there. And do... I still don't have a production and strength employee. Still none available. This does surprise me. Now, I was actually hoping to, like, fast-forward this through the winter a lot more, but it doesn't seem to have worked out. Um, hang on. We've already cultivated this one. I need to fertilize. Choose. Uh, well, we'll just go for that. Autofill. There, right. So we've got one being fertilized up there. Next one, this needs to be fertilized as well. So we'll do that as well. I'm going to go through... And work. Well, I think I've got it's most of these now. And well, actually, no. We've got a whole load that need cultivating as well. So we, we basically we got everything that still needs to be done. We have to just go through and make sure that we get all of them done, um, one after the other. There. 
If I keep take, I'll keep taking the solid manure for this job. I think it'd be, it'll be a little bit easier. Train any worker at level five before thirteenth or fifth to get a reward of a thousand. Let me just finish doing six lots of um, manure over here, and then when I've done that, there we go. So I got at least six greenhouses that will all be ready to plant. Uh, auto fill, accept, right? And then we can go back here. We'll see if we can find somebody that's worth training up. So all I'm after is people that are worth training. It's all tractors. Everybody is a tractor driver. I don't want tractor drivers at the moment. I really don't. Can, why can't I like... What I'd like to be able to do is like put in an order. Say I want this person here. And then after a while it says, oh, you've got somebody that is um, suitable for the job that you've posted. That would work. That would be a lot better, I think. I don't, I'm, well, at least I'm assuming it would. Uh, nope, that's all tractor drivers, and here we got. See, I got plane production staff, another plane production, but production and strength. I think we just got really lucky with it before. I'm going to hire Oliver Hewitt here, who's um, somebody that yeah, we can put him into house number four again. He's beekeeping and strength, so I'm just assuming it's going to help a little bit with the beekeeping skill. I got another plane production, production and beekeeping, all of which are no good to me. I don't want any of those. I need to be able to get somebody so that I can train. Well, I, do, I could go and train the beekeeper up. I could just do that. Got any more here? No. <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe there's like a limited number of those types of employees in the game. And that is why we're not allowed to get any more. So Kai Bennett here is very poor. So I'm going to train him up. We do get this. Train any worker to max level. We get a thousand refund. Which I mean, it's not great to be honest is it? That's really not great. But um... Yeah, we got him, and we got him all the way up there. Right, so there's two more beekeepers. We will build the beekeepers' houses in a minute. Actually, we'll probably end up doing that next time. We're kind of we're starting to head towards the end of the episode by the look of it. Um, still, no. Ah, at last, Emily Wheeler. I'm sure we had Emily Wheeler before, and we let her go because she didn't have the suit. She didn't have the amount of strength that we needed in order to run our place properly. And here she is. She's come back. And she's learned the error of her ways, and she's decided to get some proper training. And now look. Look at her. All looking pleased and happy, and she's all trained up. This is amazing. I'm very happy for her. I don't want that. Uh, I don't want that. To plant tomato seedling. Well, we're actually going to be doing that in a minute. Not in that one, I'm not. This one here, we can plant tomato seedlings in here. I'm going to choose, and I'm going to order some tomato seedlings. We're going to plant those. Buy 62 units of tomato seedlings. They'll be here shortly. They will be here eventually. Right, let's go into there. See so if we got and it's just <gasps> Look at that. Aaron Gray. Aaron, you 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 are you, you're a wonderful person, you are. You you're gonna have first dibs on the which bunk you sleep in in the new house. Just just because you're such a wonderful person, you get to choose where you stay in the new house. And everybody else is just going to be secondary to you. Now I wanted another bee house. Uh, I know two two new bee houses to start with, so let's go to building. And we go to animals over there. And we go to beekeeper building. Now, I've got to put that out to a road. I'm actually, before I do that, let's build the road so that it loops around properly. That's one bit that I never did here, isn't it? There we go. Now that loops around there properly. Uh, does it loop everywhere else? Yes, it loops everywhere else. Perfect. Okay, then I can come over to here. And I can go to animals. And I can go to beekeeper. And I can put that one. One doesn't fit there. All right, let's, let's put it down here like this. And I should have pressed and held shift, but I didn't. I failed once again. Put that one. Oh, you got You can't put them right up against each other. You do have to move them along a little bit. So we'll put that one there and that one there and then that one over there. And I will build one more road next to it over there just in case. Right, so we got four more beehives, which means I'm going to need some more beekeepers as well. And over here, I'm going to... Oh, that one's ready for sowing. So we can we can plant the... We can toma um, tomato seedlings. There we go. Autofill. i got no seasonal staff. We've got tractor drivers planting these. Hopefully, they'll be able to do the job all right. Right, so if all the seasonal staff have left, that means it's going to be a little bit slow doing all the rest of the jobs, isn't it? Choose. Uh, you know what? I think we may as well just order, like... Three, four, we're, we're a thousand tomato. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go for a thousand tomatoes. Uh, so buy. No, I'm only doing like six greenhouses worth. So, say two hundred more. 
Let's go for 200. One, two. And then I'm going to want some strawberry seedlings. Probably going to want a thou uh, 500 of those there. We may end up wanting more than that, but still. We go 500 of these as well. That's 11 grand. It's a little bit more expensive to buy them. And let's go back. Higher again. Who have we got? Okay, so I can get a beekeeper. I'm not really worried about the beekeepers not having the strength. I don't think that is going to affect the yields hugely. I think we'll be all right. Just, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll hire in two more beekeepers for the other two bee houses. And it's house... Oh. Okay, I, I don't have a house they can stay in. They can stay in this one over here. Is that going to be close enough? No, it's not. I don't want to... I, I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to build a house for permanent employees. And I'm going to bring that one all the way over here as close as I can. I actually want to bring that a little bit closer like that. We're going to put that one there. And that's where the new beekeepers are going to live. They're going to go into there. I'm going to go into here and see if I can get another person. <gasps> there, Megan Potter. Megan Potter, you absolute saint, you. You absolute wonderful, beautiful saint. And if we got any more here, we do have a beekeeper there who would have been perfect. Well, he will be perfect. We're going to hire him. We're going to stick him. It doesn't matter where we put him. It's going to hire him anyway. Just just take Joshua May. He can go into that house there. Put him in there just for a minute. And we can move, we can move him along in just a moment. We can dump him in this house. There, see? Right. So then if I go to Joshua and I relocate him to that house there all the way down so we go to uh, house number 10 and then I will go to here and I will actually I'm going to train him up his beekeeping is already maxed right out he, he is the beekeeper of legend he is the beekeeper of legend we'll worry about actually putting the beekeepers in there in a minute now have we anyone else are we anyone else that we want I need this is oh there we go Eleanor Powell Eleanor Powell is another beautiful beautiful wonderful amazing person um, no, production and beekeeping is not really what we're after here. And I think that's going to have to be it for a minute. So we've got a load of people here. I can train some of these up a bit more. We get, we get them all trained up to maximum. Because that does it does actually seem to be worthwhile doing that. There we go. And down. And then you as well. Train you up. There we go. Beautiful. Wonderful. Amazing. And... Yep, yeah, that one, she's already trained up. So I've got five people. This this warehouse over here, this also takes five people. This one here, we've got two people working in here. So I can choose. If I auto-fill that, we've got three more five of five in there. That's beautiful. That is amazing. That's wonderful. Now we go into here. i got Eleanor Powell as the first one. I need four more people to go in there. And then we've got the juicing factory is ready as well. What's going on in here? Planting is in progress. The rest of it is not yet in progress, so let's... Uh, oh, that one needs to be cultivated. Autofill that. Yeah, look look at these people. These are not suitable for doing these kinds of jobs. They're not the people we want here. We need some seasonal staff. We'll do that next time. We will get more seasonal staff here next time, and we'll be able to keep working on the greenhouses. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.